How to painting your flower pot. Flowers are colorful and inviting, but sometimes the planters therein can be a bit drab. If you want to spice up your home or garden, decorate your flower pots with paint, decoupage, or intricate mosaics. A chic planter can totally tie together your decor and show your personality. 1. Clean your flower pot. No matter what material your flower pot is made from, make sure the areas you want to paint are clean. Use soap and water if there is any lingering dirt or dust. A spotless surface will help your painting last. Remove any stickers or price tags. If you're painting a terracotta pot, soak it in water for a few hours first. Scrub the entire thing with a stiff brush to get rid of dust or dirt. Wait 24 hours before painting, as terracotta is porous and will stay wet for a long time. Allow your flower pot to dry completely before painting. 2. Choose acrylic paints in the colors of your choice. The color possibilities are pretty much endless, but make sure you use acrylic paints. Acrylic dries extremely quickly and is water resistant when dry. It works on terracotta, clay, plastic, and ceramic. Use spray paint or liquid paint, as long as it's acrylic. Spray paint is a faster option, but liquid will allow you to use brushes and get a detailed design. If your planter will be staying outside, you can use an outdoor paint meant for withstanding weather. 3. Plan out your design. Take a look at your pot and decide what look you're going for. If your planter is going to be inside, think about what might look good with the color of your walls or floor. If it's going to be outside, think about what colors might pop in your yard or garden. Use tape to segment off sections if you only want to paint certain parts. Add words to label herb plants to offer little motivational phrases. A pure white flower pot is a sleek, modern option. Use stencils to creative intricate shapes. 4. Paint the first coat. There are no limits to what you can paint onto your flower pots, so let your creative juices flow. Use a large foam brush to put down a base coat. Choose a single color so you have a simple canvas to decorate further. Put down newspaper or towels and wear clothes you don't mind getting dirty. If you want to leave half of your pot unpainted, tape off that section. 5. Let your flower pot dry. A dry base coat will make sure the next application won't smudge or run. Be patient. If you want a solid, single color flower pot, it might be done already. 6. Apply a second layer of paint. Use foam brushes of all sizes to complete the look. Reapply the base coat if you want a more vivid color, otherwise go ahead and create your piece of art. Use whatever stencils, brushes, sponges, or freehand techniques you want. 7. Apply a clear sealer once your design is dry. When you're happy with your new piece of art, it's time to make sure everything stays in place. To prevent fading or chipping, apply at least two layers of clear, water-based acrylic sealer. Get an acrylic sealer from your local craft store. It may take a few days for the paint to dry if you used several coats of paint. Using spray sealer is recommended, but you can also get cans of varnish and paint it on. This might leave brush strokes behind. Choose a matte or shiny finish depending on what you like. Once protected, a painted design can last for years. Tips If you're using a terracotta planter, you may want to coat the inside with a sealer to keep moisture from seeping through and damaging your decorations. If you don't like how your paint job turned out, just paint over it. Make sure everything is dry before you fill your flower pot with dirt and a plant. Warnings Wear gloves and safety glasses when shattering tiling or glass. Protect your floor or tabletop from paint and glue with newspapers. Things you'll need Painting your flower pot Clean flower pot Acrylic paints of assorted colors, spray or liquid Foam brushes of varying sizes. Stencils. Newspaper or towels. Clear spray acrylic varnish, spray or liquid.